I want to take a moment to begin this video and talk about this struggle we're having with this channel. It's really kind of the way that gun channels are interacting with Google and YouTube is affecting us and it's affecting our ability to be able to produce content. So I want to take a moment and just ask you to support us on Patreon where a lot of the content we can't put here is going and it supports this ministry. When the ammo shortage first hit, much of the ammo industry focused on the, the highly desired calibers and the NATO calibers. Like, what does the world want? What few calibers does the world want? And they focused on the calibers that we all carry, 9 millimeter, uh, you know, 223, 556, you know, all the NATO standards. And they focused on the things like, you know, 38 Special, 380 ACP, 45s. And that was smart. That was right to do so. And for a few years, and ammo manufacturers weren't really being very innovative as far as creating new calibers. And that makes sense to me. Well, this past year, suddenly there's a there's kind of a big jump in new calibers, what we refer to as wildcat cartridges, things that really are just kind of new. Are they going to catch? Are they not going to catch? Like, what's going to happen with this new caliber? Well, as it turns out, there's one handgun caliber that's winning a lot of awards and it's also catching a lot of attention. And that's the 30 Super Carry. Now, what the 30 Super Carry is, is it's essentially, as far as what you put in the magazine, is about the size of a 380. So, you could have a very similar you know, capacity that a 380 might have. And it has uh, the force of a nine millimeter. Now that's, that's a thing. That is a very significant thing. I'm very interested in this cartridge, but what, is, you know, what we're looking at right now is we're looking at, you know, there's, uh, everybody's just making NATO standards. You know, is this a viable cartridge? If you went with a 30 super carry, would it be viable? Is that, you know, cause, Again, you, you, you look at the numbers, you look at the data of this cartridge and it's, you know, it's physical capabilities. Uh, it's a great round, but where, where is it? You know, first let's see it of an abundance in my opinion, because, you know, I would, I would probably dare not go with a wildcat cartridge right now, especially if it's your primary carry that's kind of a big deal because if you have a primary carry you know what if you can't get the ammo because if anything happens and you know hey look at the news america and europe saying hey we can't keep up with this war in europe small arms ammo there you know billions of dollars going to expanding the ammo industry in the u.s and in europe so hmm, is a wildcat cartridge viable so I kind of want to open it up uh, to a question, you know, put it in the comments below because, you know, I, I remember really falling in love with the 22 TCM. Um, love that round. Now it didn't catch, it just didn't catch. I was surprised. It's like, to me, it's like a two, two, three short, you know, essentially what you have is you have, you know, you have AR, you know, you have AR capabilities in, in a, 1911 I mean that's awesome who wouldn't love that but as it turns out I guess me and a few other people you know and then they started making other t TCM rounds and um, you know maybe you know a, a lot of people love the TCM don't get me wrong but it didn't catch uh, you know it's definitely no 38 special or 9 mil you know it's not these common rounds so 30 super carry is it worth it I just want to pose that question uh, will you see it? Have you seen it? Uh, honestly, I haven't looked much for it. I kind of hadn't thought about it, to be quite honest. Um, I remember the 350 Legend was real appealing to me, but I kind of held back on that for the exact same reasons. So just throwing that question out there, 30 Super Carry, should you do it? Is it worth the risk? Is it really a risk? Put it below, I'd love to see your responses because I honestly don't know how to answer that question. I want to say maybe it's worth the risk if you got some affordable handguns. 
and it's an alternative, you know, it's not your main carry, maybe that, you know, but put those comments below. Love to see what your thoughts are. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel to Patreon. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. Thank you.